I'm joined now by Sylvia Justice from St. Francis Medical Center, and we are here to talk about National Bleed Month, which is this May. Sylvia, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. What message is St. Francis Medical Center getting out for National Bleed Month? So this is a presentation by our trauma program. Um, part of our uh, requirements are to do community outreach and education mm -hmm. about trauma. Um, Stop the Bleed is a national program that was designed with the American College of Surgeons and the Department of Defense. Um, lessons learned from the military mm -hmm. about how to stop the bleed, not just for gunshot wounds, but for industrial accidents or kitchen accidents, um, motor vehicle crashes, that type of thing. So we wanted to um, share the message with the community because it's something that really can pertain to anyone mm -hmm. from a babysitter all the way up to the medical professionals. Exactly. You don't have to be a clinician uh, to know this information. This Absolutely. is for anyone, especially it's if it's really geared an more towards those who aren't clinicians. Um, and uh, is there a seminar coming up? So Thursday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. we will be at St. Francis um, Community Health Center on Tower Drive. Uh, we will be registering people on the hour. It's about a 45 minute long session mm -hmm. um, to come in and get your hands on things like a tourniquet or learn how to pack a wound if you were to encounter um, an injury like that. And how can someone sign up for the seminar? Uh, the easiest way is to give me a call. It's 318-966-4893 and we will get you signed up. I, I think it's um, information like we said that uh, anybody needs to know, especially if uh, someone falls down in the home or hits their head and is there uh, anything that, that you mentioned a tourniquet uh, that's important I would have no idea how to do a tourniquet if somebody started bleeding most people house. don't um, but the, the cool thing about the instructional sessions is that we'll have tourniquets available um, mm -hmm. so that we can teach you how to do it but also to think outside the box um, with things if you, we don't always have galls available so how to how to handle that if you were to come up on a motor vehicle accident or God forbid a gunshot wound mm -hmm. um, victim that you would know how to help. And what, what would be an example of that? Um, you know, people tend to think, well, I gotta have something clean to put on a wound. In an uh -huh. emergency situation, you may not have that. Um, a dish towel or a t-shirt, if you have one standing by, you know, is something that you could use to stop bleeding. Um, it only takes sometimes less than five minutes for you to lose enough blood that it would be impossible to be resuscitated even with blood transfusion so this is something that's very important and, and a lot of deaths traumatic deaths are preventable if we can stop the bleeding and uh, it's wonderful to know that st francis was recently named uh, uh, a, a top trauma program right we are um, along with conway mm -hmm. um, or i'm sorry oshner monroe uh, going for our level three designation with the american college of surgeons so this again this is part of our um, out community outreach, um, just the first steps in us. That's great for our community. One more time, uh, when is the seminar and where? So the seminar is uh, Thursday, this Thursday, 10 to 2 at CHC, uh, the St. Francis CHC building at uh, 2600 Tower Drive. It's on the second floor okay. that we'll be together. All right, Sylvia, so nice to meet you. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for having me.